Hi, it's Elizabeth from The Toy Hoarder. Today I am back with some more Disney Kingdom Hearts toys. So I have a Donald and Goofy pack as well as a Pete, Chip, and Dale pack. And I am very excited about these. These were quite difficult to find for some time because I was pretty late on these. I know I did see them at GameStop at one point, but they were, I don't know, 30 something dollars and I just wasn't that impressed for that price. So found them for eight bucks each at a little game comic shop in Missouri. So guys, I'm so, I'm so excited. All right, let me show you the packaging up close. You can see we got the big Kingdom Hearts logo here, you know, action figures. There's not really a whole lot on the front of this packaging, but they do actually show us the other toys in the series. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if I've seen the Roxas and Soldier one anywhere ever, actually. Uh, I saw a Hercules one at one point. Ah, that one's not on here. So I don't I don't know, you guys. Anyway, these are Diamond Select toys, which I do actually have some Diamond Select toys up here. I think they are all probably Nightmare Before Christmas because I'm a big, big fan. But I I don't know. I'm just really loving these uh, Kingdom Hearts ones, and I got them at a good price. So, yeah. All right. Let's get them open. They should be pretty easy. They're in blister packs, so you can just separate the plastic from the cardboard here. Oops. All right. I'm going to do the slightly less heavy one here. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Don't do that to me. All right, well, this is older packaging, and it's going to be... Hey, wait, here's a hole. <laughs> okay, it went terribly. But in theory, you could just detach... There we go, that went better. Detach this cardboard, and now there is a tray inside. So you remove that tray. There's another piece of cardboard tape to the front of it, which I guess I didn't have to remove. There's nothing underneath here. And it looks like there are eye tags across Goofy's belly, each arm, and then across Donald's belly, across this wand staff thing, which looks super epic, you guys. And nothing on the shield, but I am going to have to get scissors to cut those couple, so give me just a moment here. Actually, can I just wiggle this one out? Alright, oh, wow. I think I just actually broke a hole through this packaging all the way. That was weird. All right, well, that one came out. What's my best bet on Donald and Goofy? I'm going to try to get them from the back. I don't want to accidentally scratch up the toys here. Oh, guys, I totally missed it. He does actually have the eye tags on his ankles as well, so I'm going to need to cut just a few more here. The only level I've actually beaten in this game is the Hercules one so far. I know, I'm really slacking, but, um, <laughs> now I kind of want the Hercules set, and I haven't been able to find it again, so, uh, I don't know, guys. But this one comes off the same way, remove the cardboard from the plastic, and then take the plastic tray out, which, here's the background. It's nothing fantastic, and certainly nothing I'm going to save, but they did actually do a pattern there, so. If anyone's interested, you know, there's that. Hey, hey, guys! A twist tie! Been so long since we've seen one of those on a toy packaging, huh? I wonder if this is a, an even older one. I don't know when these came out, you guys. I know there are also several Kingdom Hearts series. Alright. So... Pete, oh, he's just so heavy. He's so big and he's so heavy. Even just in this packaging, he's very, very heavy, you guys. So, uh, be careful if you give this to younger ones. Um, I guess I didn't tell you guys an age range on this. Did it tell me? I mean, they're, they're meant to be collectibles because they're diamond select, I would assume. But, uh, if you've got an old enough kid that can handle it, you probably could give it to a kid, I suppose. It says not for zero to three. Usually these types of action figures say something like 12 and up, but these seem fine. And then there's still characters that we see young, young, young ones have. Interesting. Anyway, because he's so big and heavy, he's got to have this big old twist tie on him, which is just crazy. But he does actually have the eye tags on each of his ankles here. And there's one eye tag that goes across both Chip and Dale. And just in case you guys didn't know, Chip has the black chocolate chip nose and Dale has the red one. So that's how you can tell them apart. 
Okay, guys, I got them open. Let's see what we have in here. All right, so I'll start with the first one I opened, which was the Donald and Goofy pack. All right, guys, so here is what Donald looks like up close. Lots of detail in this coat here. I do love that he's got a purple coat on. It's got a blue collar outlined in yellow, as well as a bunch of blue pockets that are hanging off it. Uh, across the middle with the yellow outlines. He's got some yellow bangles. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. I'm usually not a very big Donald fan, but I'm a big purple fan, so... Oh my goodness, his hat is actually, like, a zippered-up hat. So you can see the zipper is hanging in the very back of the hat, and it just kind of, like, unzips the whole thing. So that's kind of cool. I wonder if he uses it as a bag or something. I don't know. I don't know enough about it, to be honest, and I would like to, so... All right, Donald does actually have articulation as well, so... This head joint is really tight, but he does actually have a full ball joint in the head. I don't know if it goes all the way around because it's tight. But, oh, goodness. All right, so really tight joint. I don't know if you guys can hear it clicking in there. It's not a ratchet joint. It's just really ridiculously tight, or maybe the paint was kind of melting and it's getting stuck. I don't know, but up, down, all the way around is the full ball joint. So he's got, goodness, a full ball joint in the shoulder. Doesn't look like anything in the wrist or elbow here, probably because it's so thin. That's probably the best bet here. And then interestingly, oh wait, no, we do have one in the legs. It didn't even look like it. Wow. All right, so he's got a twisting joint in each leg, uh, which they might go 360 degrees, but he's got these big old webbed duck feet, so that makes that a little bit more difficult. Also, I don't know if this means anything to anybody, but here's what's on the very bottom of his feet here it says made in china disney dst 180509kk and k as in kitten all right yeah i don't know i can't get it to go quite all the way around now also on the bottom of his feet he does have two holes here so he can attach to different stands and things like that i know there are several uh standard action figure stands that you can buy and you can buy them in packs and things you know from NECA and other places that make action figures I'm sure Diamond Select might have them they probably fit on the general Diamond Select stands that sort of thing however these did not come with stands which is kind of interesting because the newer Diamond Select ones all the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas ones that I have I'm pretty sure they all came with stands so I don't know that's a little bit interesting but cool anyway all right guys here is Goofy he's got a pair of goggles strapped onto his hat up here, and he's got the brown hat on. It's always funny to me because it looks like a shoe on his head, which it's goofy, so I wouldn't be surprised if he just threw a shoe on his head and called it a hat. He's got a long sleeve green sweater that's got these little Kingdom Hearts style blue bands that hold the sleeves rolled, which is kind of interesting, and then he's got this cool biker black jacket thing going on here. I don't know if it's actually leather. I mean, all of this toy is, you know, plastic or vinyl, whatever they're made out of. Probably, like, vinyl, I would guess, but, um, it probably was a leather jacket that they were imitating. Uh, he's also got some more Kingdom Hearts-esque designs on the gloves, these little, you know, Quidditch goalposts, and then, uh, <laughs> I'm sure you guys appreciate all my, my references. Okay. <laughs> He's got yellow pants, black belt. His pants are also rolled up and held up by these weird uh, diamond straps that are very Kingdom Hearts-esque. So that's pretty cool. He's got some, I would say, steampunk-ish shoes. Instead of just these solid brown, we've actually got white toes with what looks like several rivets through them to connect it. And some stripes down by the heels. So that's kind of neat. He's got big baggy pants with the big old pockets in them. It looks like a pretty comfortable outfit, actually. I might wear it. <laughs> anyway, guys, trying to show you some of these details up close here. Make sure you can see everything, and I will also show you the articulation. So this one's head joint is a lot smoother than Donald's, as you can 
probably tell you cannot hear it up down all the way around full ball joint on that we've got a full ball joint in the shoulder here and then again nothing in the elbow and wrist which i actually am a little bit surprised on with goofy but i guess it does get pretty thin right here i think we could have gotten an elbow joint and uh, that would have made it a lot more poseable so it would have been cool but unfortunately we did not so do we have a waist joint no okay no waist joint on him but oh my goodness look at this strange leg joint so it's an in out leg joint and in the backwards okay so i guess it's a it's a ball joint it gets a little bit stuck by the way that they made the back of his pants here but here's your your range of motion on this so up down up down but he can jump and air split actually a little bit further than the straight split so that's kind of cool a good a good range of motion in those particular ball joints then he's got ball joints in the ankles which is really fun they're very loose i will warn you uh this left foot is actually a lot looser than the right foot which is why you saw me accidentally like do this a bunch of times but it should it should it should still hold up and be all right but that's cool Interestingly, Goofy does not actually have any holes on the bottom of his feet, so he can't stand on a stand, and that's odd because Donald can. So I'm not really sure why they did that. Most of the Diamond Select figures will have those. I'm not sure what you want to do as far as a Goofy. Uh, it's hard for me to tell you if he will stand or not because I am on carpet right now, but I will try to see if I can... <sighs> There's a small table off camera, but he does actually stand up on his own, so you're all right with that. You won't necessarily need a stand. Just don't bump, you know, the shelf that he's on, I guess. <laughs> all right, so here is Goofy's shield, I believe, and you can use this to ride the lava in the in the Hercules level, That's which is, of course, the only level that I played so far. So, <laughs> anyway, interesting it's got a sort of flexible handle in here but it's not i wouldn't say it's like rubber or anything it's definitely just like a thin plastic so be careful pushing on that it might only have a limited number of flexes there for its lifetime but i guess he can he's got an open hand here so he can sort of grip it what's interesting though is since he doesn't have the elbow <laughs> He can't really hold the shield up how he's supposed to across his chest. He just kind of does this. But can I get his whole hand through there? Maybe that would... No, I don't know, you guys. It's a little bit weird with the shield. I kind of wish they'd given Goofy elbows because that would have really helped with this shield. But I guess you can kind of have it to the side. That's, that's about as good as that gets since you can't put it in front of him. So that's a little bit disappointing, but we have that. And it looks like both hands are curved enough that you could put the shield in either hand. As far as Donald, he also has that. So that's really nice that we can put accessories in either of their hands. I love this staff, you guys. I'm sorry about my lighting, but it looks like a little like wizard ghost head and the full hat with this little curl it reminds me of a nightmare before christmas hill curl the bottom of the staff the whole the regular staff is black like a magician stick and then there's just all these accessories on top so we've got this purple ghost head and then the brown witch hat on top of that that curls in through the back and then we've got some silver embellishments on the top and bottom of the stick and the very bottom of the stick we've got a red and yellow little knob piece there's i mean there's probably official words for this and I'm, I'm sorry if i don't know what those are okay guys let's see if don oh what so fun fact donald can't really hang on to this can i get it to hold higher maybe all right so if you hold it at the purple part you can get it sort of in his hand and kind of balance it but the stick is too thin or his grip is too wide and it just kind of slides here. He doesn't, he isn't able to actually grip onto and hold it, which is super unfortunate, you guys. You might be able to make this happen with a stand or you can stand it near him and it looks like it's holding it. Well, I don't know because it's so short that it won't reach the stand. I don't know, you guys. I'm kind of disappointed in that design. I really thought that he would be able to hold it. So maybe it's for Goofy? Nope. 
Goofy's hands are too large as well, so it just kind of rattles around in here. Can you hold it at the end? He can sort of hold it at the end. Okay, so maybe it's more like a magic wand instead of a staff. So he can sort of hold it at the end if you want to do that. Can Donald do that too? Give me a second here. Oh, I'm going to get it wedged in his fingers. Oh, dear. Mm. Ah, no, come on. Sort of. Just be careful with it because it's the very end that I have it holding on here. So, look he's going to, like, hit somebody with it, which maybe he would. I'm not really sure. I would assume it's some sort of magic wand. I don't think he's going to hit anyone with it, but... I had it in a weird position. I will show you Chip and Dale first, so... Here is Chip. Again, he's got the chocolate chip colored nose, so the black nose here. And I'm really sorry about my camera, you guys. I have no idea why it's not focusing very well. But there is a Mickey head, a red Mickey head, on the center of his pocket. So, I love... <laughs> Chip and Dale are actually both dressed in their little library slash librarian slash engineer outfits which is too cute they've got these beige aprons with red straps and a big blue pocket in the front i think they kept their little like communicator things inside their pockets and then the back has a big blue gear and inside it another red mickey head and there's also like i don't know if it's actually a cape piece or if it's just the back of the overalls but the very back top of the overalls are red. We've got some gold buttons painted on. We've got green and red stitching painted all around the edges of the beige part of the apron. So, I mean, there's definitely like a lot of detail that was put into these, especially for how small they are. They're maybe two inches tall. Look at this, you know, compared to my thumb. Interestingly, these guys are actually different head molds at least they might be the same body mold it looks like but the head molds are separate uh, dale's got a little tuft of hair in the top here and their their faces are slightly different it seems like chip's nose is a little thinner and his actual well his i don't know his snout is a little thinner and his nose is a little smaller than dale's so that is kind of fun that they actually changed the molds a little bit it also looks like Dale's got two front teeth and Chip either has one or none. It's kind of hard to tell if this is a damaged piece or if it was supposed to be a tooth, so. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, guys, there's no articulation on these little ones. I thought we'd at least get a head joint. So, unfortunately, this is really all you've got on this. All right, guys, Pete. He is massive. He is heavy. This is not one you give your smaller kids because if they drop it on their feet, they're having a bad day. If I drop this on my feet, I'm having a bad day. So that is just how that's going to go with this guy. Man, he's so big and heavy. I don't know. I don't have a lot of like really big heavy action figures, maybe like Sully and things like that. But I mean, he's solid. He doesn't feel hollow or anything. I mean, he is, he is bulky. All right. So it doesn't look like it, but he does have a head joint in here and it is, wow. Okay. So he does have the full ball joint. So the full ball joint means he's got a couple of ranges of motions. Do be careful as you're moving this into its full range of motion because of this collar. So you'll pull the joint just out of the collar and if it moves, it'll then get stuck back on the collar. So be careful, especially smaller kids uh, might might struggle with that. But he has the up, down, and around. I'm not going to turn it all the way around right now because that collar, I don't want to mess it up with the collar. But it does have a full ball joint in that head. And despite this armor, there is a bit of at least a twisting joint. Oh, nope, it's full ball joint. So in, out. And twisting, again, getting stuck on this armor because this armor wraps all the way around his arm and is uh, kind of in his shoulder or chest here and the shoulder blade in the back. So because of that limitation there, it doesn't turn all the way. However, this figure is big enough to warrant a full ball joint in the elbow. So see, I'm waving at you guys now. So that's the up down and then we've got the all the way around on the full ball joint. So now I was able to show you a, a decent full ball joint. 
Oh, man, this is so cool, you guys. I just love these real bulky figures. All right, so he's got a full ball joint in this thigh. And then, a little harder to see, he's got a full ball joint in the ankle as well. I wonder if I can get the thigh one to stop moving. Only a, only a little bit. Okay, I'll show you on this one then because I can't get it in a good angle. But he's got this around type motion and the up down tilt so that's super cool i love i love this outfit this is like short overalls or maybe it's just because he's so tall i'm not really sure you guys but these overalls are awesome they've got massive pockets on them i mean they're they're blue like normal overalls but they've got these massive purple pockets on the side that are zippered in and then the overalls also zip through the center which is kind of weird and instead of the straight up and down suspender type straps that overalls usually have, he's got them crossed across his chest. And then those crosses seem to hook into his shoulder armor, which is also interesting. And I don't know if they actually do or if that's just coincidental. Uh, but yeah, he's got these super cool gloves on that look like metalworking gloves or machining gloves. They're pretty neat. They're blue and fingerless, but they've got these extra knuckle guards on top that are, I guess, a darker blue, maybe black. Uh, unsure on the colors on that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Here's what they look like. There's, he's got a red shirt on underneath it. Very, very farmer-esque type colors. I do also really like his tennis shoes. They're mostly blue, but he's got the purple very top of them and laces, and then there's the white across the bottom and a couple of stripes. And then the toes in the very center are light blue. So you've got three different colors in these shoes, which is really nice. He also does have some yellow buttons on here, or rivets, possibly, or eyelets. I'm not really sure exactly what it is. But there's a lot of color in them, and they're just kind of fun. I would probably wear them if they made them in my size. <laughs> just saying, guys. He's got a, several of these yellow eyelet things. They're on his armor, and they're on his overalls as well. They're probably buttons on the overalls, unsure on the armor one. But that's why I think it's connected to the overalls. So I'm not really sure. But I would definitely wear this outfit. It's so cool. I mean, it's not anything you would wear anywhere practical because it's got this extra arm armor, but maybe you could take that piece off. Oh, interesting. Okay, so he doesn't have holes in the bottom of his feet either. So I wonder if Donald just has an issue standing or because his legs are so thin or something. I'm not really sure. He's a bit of a challenge to manipulate, but he does stand on his own. Surprisingly, Chip and Dale both do stand despite their tiny feet here, which I know I got my hand in the way there, but they got these itty bitty feet, but they do actually stand. I told you Goofy already stands, and so Donald stands, but super precariously, and it's gonna be hard to show you why, but he kind of sits on his heels here. So I think that's why he had the stand thing. I'm kind of disappointed he didn't come with a stand. I'm kind of looking through this packaging now, seeing if I missed it. No, sometimes they put them in the bottom here or something, but unfortunately no on the stand. So he will stand. It's just precarious. Be careful on that. All right, so that's all I have for you guys on these. I think they're really cool. I'm disappointed that Chip and Dale didn't have any articulation at all. I feel like they could have at least had a head joint. Um, it would have been neat if they also had leg joints. Their arms are too small. I wouldn't have done that, but since they've got these uh, thicker thighs here that we could have had thigh joints I feel like and then a ball joint in the head right here I'm actually kind of concerned it looks like the the head broke off at some point and then was just like hot glued back on and it's probably just how they did it at the factory but it's it's a little bit concerning I won't lie as far as Goofy, I really wanted elbow joints on Goofy so that he could hold the shield appropriately. Because the only character right now that has any elbow joints is Pete, and he can't hold the shield because his hands are just too big. He's got these huge fingers. I don't even, well, maybe I could get it across one finger. What do you think? Can I make this work? Well, <laughs> it doesn't matter that he has elbow joints because <laughs> he's just such a big character that he can't really get the shield in front of him anyway. This looks obnoxious. All right, you can actually get it over his fingers so he can hold it. It looks, it looks so ridiculous on him. It barely covers his hand. Okay. So he can hold the shield, but that looks better to hold it in front of you than to the side. So I think that's kind of strange. 
Also, I have no idea how all of the characters were able, because you have Goofy, Donald, and Sora, and they all jump on this uh, shield upside down to go across, like, lava and water and stuff. I, well, I know you can do it on lava. I don't know if you can do it on the water, but I don't know how they all fit on that. I, I mean, I don't even know. Goofy, maybe, and then they all just, like, hold each other. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Amusing. But yeah, I do wish he had the elbow joint so that he could hold the shield more appropriately and that would probably be better as far as uh, collectors and even when you're playing and stuff too. So a little bit disappointed in lack of elbow joint there. Other than that, uh, there's nothing too much more that I wanted to see. I mean, they could have waist joints, but doesn't really do a whole lot either way. Uh, it would have been hard to do on Pete and on Donald because of the way that their clothing is, but it could have been nice to see on Goofy just to have it. Other than that, I mean, there's not really a whole lot that I would change. They're pretty nice figures. They're nice, uh, soft vinyl plastic, so those are nice. The goggles are attached. They do, they're not removable. Neither are any of the hats and things like that, so you don't lose all these tiny accessories. I am a little bit disappointed, I think, in the staff. That's the only other thing that I might change. And maybe it's just because I don't know what exactly I was supposed to do with this, but maybe it's not a staff. Maybe it's a wand. Even still, though, I feel like it should have had a slightly longer handle to hang on to at the end if it's a wand, and it should have had a thicker handle in the center if it's a staff so that the characters can actually hold it. This is not even close. It seems like an accessory that went with a different toy that I'm trying to kind of put with these. So that's super weird since that's an official accessory. All right, guys, let me know what you guys thought of these Diamond Select characters from Kingdom Hearts. We've got Pete, Donald, Dale, Chip, and Goofy. Let me know what you thought of them down in the comments below. If you enjoyed what you saw today and you haven't had a chance yet, please do click that red subscribe button down below as well. Completely free for you guys to do, but really helps support us and encourages us to keep posting awesome videos like this one for you guys. Also, do make sure you subscribe if you want to see the other Kingdom Hearts videos. I'm not sure if I posted any yet, but I do have some other Kingdom Hearts characters that I will be unboxing for you guys on the channel. So, be sure you don't miss that. While you're there, you can hit the thumbs up to leave a like. You can click the dragon logo to go check out our channel. We've got plenty of other toy reviews and other fun things on there for you guys. And we've also got some playlists set up that help you find certain things that you're looking for. So hope you can find something fun that you enjoy and hope you join us again soon. Until next time, have a great time playing. Bye.